I was born uh, in 1923 on February 20th in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I, I went to the College of Worcester in 1941 expecting to be an English and Latin teacher. And then in December 1941 was Pearl Harbor. And the fellows, unless they were going to be a physician or a preacher, left in droves uh, from the campus because they were trying to avoid the draft. And uh, the, the, the foot soldier thing was not the, the, the best. And they joined the Air Force, then the Navy, and uh, and uh, the house mother, um, at dinner one time, uh, said, you know, uh, we girls have got to step up and do science. And she said, you're taking chemistry, aren't you, Helen? And I said, yeah. Get good grades? I got all A's. And she said, why don't you switch? And I said, okay. <laughs> just, just boing like that. Uh, I interviewed at Miles Laboratories, and they offered me a job as the as the chemist in the control laboratory. I got bored with working in a control laboratory because once you develop a method, you just did the same thing day after day. And so my boss, who is Lloyd Johnson, um, arranged for me to to interview. Uh, with some guy from Cleveland uh, Western Reserve University biochemistry lab. Uh, he was starting up a biochemistry lab in the research department at Miles. I interviewed and he hired me and two years later I married the boss. My husband's name is Alfred H. Free, Ph.D. I can see only advantages for being married to my boss for so long. <laughs> I let the disadvantages disappear. <laughs> the experiment I found to be the most memorable was the double sequential enzymatic reaction for glucose in urine and blood which was the basis of the home test for diabetes. Um, this, the basic patent, uh, there's double sequential enzymatic reaction as ALS, and my contribution was to stabilize the color and to stabilize the reactants. Uh, and we have patents each, each, of, each of us has a separate patent on this particular uh, reagent strip, and uh, that's, that's most memorable because that's what started, it was, the first, uh, it was the first urine test, and it was the first blood test, and it led to uh, the multiple uh, uh, tests, and for, for the, um, the epitome of urinalysis is 10 different reactions. Um, there's glucose, there's ketones, there's bilirubin, there's urobilinogen, there's protein, there's specific gravity and pH and leukocytes and nitrite and I'm not sure what the other one is, but uh, all these reagents are on one uh, dip and read strip and you dip it into the urine and match it to the color chart and uh, it gives you 10 different answers in two minutes. I should tell you about the uh, American Chemical Society counselor who got me to come and talk to Austin, Texas uh, at the university there. Uh, 
we, the, the Girl Scouts were uh, having a support group for girls who were diabetic. And uh, uh, they were forming this. And one of the mothers got up after I had uh, given my speech and said, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for my girl's life. She had, her father was a diabetic and uh, she had inherited type 1 diabetes and she couldn't have lived without our product. <laughs>